No. So why is it called ham? Ham is supposed to be pink, no? Maybe it's like... You know, that's why I always thought ham was a beef, because like, hamburger. Oh, I think I'm going to tell who we hate, okay? Where we hate today. Um, we are going to have Chick-fil-A! If you don't know what Chick-fil-A is. Curry face. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how people would um would uh, market that, you know, if they ever go to Asia, right? Because there's, yeah. no, there's no Chick-fil-A in Asia. What is the closest thing? It's not that we know of. I think the closest thing would be, you know, you know, would be a competitor. KFC. Yeah, KFC. Like KFC in Asia is so much better than the ones in America. But because it's like, you know, the class. Yeah. But the class of Chick fil A is like high class. You know, like higher class than the KFC. It's a little bit more expensive. You cannot wait. Anymore. <laughs> right. So the fries come to waffle fries. Chick fil A sauce. Sauce very important. Chipotle sauce that's kind of sweet, the standard. But my favorite is honey mustard. Actually, I love honey mustard sauce. Just go for the untraditional one. Whatever. It's because it's zero fat, right? And like that. like shake fries. Shake shake fries seaweed is like the traditional. Where you like the barbecue? What's it called? Honey yeah. barbecue. Honey barbecue. Yes, it has. Oh my god! Look at this. Mmm. Mm. Hold on, hold on. Let me try this off. My first time trying to do it. Let me clean my palate. Mm. It's actually both pretty sweet. I know. I feel like Chick fil A sauce is very pretty sweet. I feel like the Chick fil A sauce is like mayo mixed with this sauce. Mayo? Mm. There's oh, mayo in oh, that. Oh. Just because. Yeah, it's like they're both but sweet. Mm. Not specifically male, but for yeah. sure. There's some type. Oh, egg. See, eggs. That's mayo ingredient in eggs. Uh, no. egg, egg lime. Oh, egg oh. lime? Egg lime and olive oil. And salt. Interesting. Mm -hmm. A lot of Filipinos like to mix mayo with ketchup. McDonald's, remember? When we were growing up. So it was asked for the mayo. I always and the, the chili sauce in like Asian McDonald's, you know, the sweet and chili sauce. Mm -hmm. And the Chick fil A, they actually have the sweet and the sweet and spicy sriracha sauce. Oh, oh my god, mm -hmm. um, it tastes a little different, but you know, it's there, it is like the chili sauce. Oh, shut up. I switched out my fried chicken patty to grill, you know, no mm -hmm. Actually, it's really good, but still like. Really. And then I got the new one with the pimento cheese. Mm -hmm. oil, so. Hey, baby. Okay. Oh. There's some kind of satisfaction with eating fast with it. Mm. That's true. It's always the best time to eat this type of food. Mine is the what basic the one. So, um, ingredient is bread and chicken. And butter corn. bun. Butter bun. And what I like to do, I like to add some. I add a chocolate sauce. Oh, it's chocolate sauce. Yeah. Guys, fill it. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Cause even KFC is hantak gay. How did that? Kun, cause in Mandarin, Kentucky. Oh, Kentucky. Kun, Kentucky. Wow. If it's gonna be sound translation for Chick Fil A, it will be what? Chai <laughs> Oh, if you think about it, I don't think I don't know if Kentucky here is known to have like Thai chicken. Or is it? Mm. Oh, it is? Yeah. Kentucky Fried Chicken. I know, but like... That's I KFC. In general, like, it's more in the South. In general, right? Not like, oh, Kentucky Fried Chicken. I don't know. Maybe. Like, known for the chicken, because like, everywhere in the South has good chicken. Oh, like, yeah. Like, I feel like that's in America, how 
burgers and fries. Like every bar would have it. Like every restaurant, restaurant bar would have. Every bar, every restaurant would have a Lee's burger. Oh yeah, burgers and fries. Yeah, it's even a kids menu. So it's like good quality. There's always gonna be better quality than McDonald's and KFC because KFC here is very cheap. I'm not trying to try KFC here. It's like with Taco Bell, no? I like, tried. Oh, sadly, it was not great. Like, but like compared to the KFC we were, like it's in the power. It's very different. That's why. Oh, Actually, just got knocked out. KFC and. In New York, in one, in one, one city. It looks pretty sad. Yeah, it's like yeah. so kind of run down. This is. I feel like because they tears, tears already ate. So mm. I like to leave some fries for the ending. You know, like the <laughs> best part. Seeing food, how it is. Because they look the most food, right? Too wholesome. The fries are like fun. You know, we got one both together. Mm. It's really good. Mm. Do you want to try the pretender cheese? Sure. You want to? Mm. Mm. Uh huh. Instead of. Oh, I just picked it. There's jalapeno. Oh. Like instead of pickle. Oh, I tried the um, jalapeno. Mm. It smells oh. healthier. <laughs> no breaded. Oh, it originally came from the bit, the bit. One leg up, the aging boy oh, sitting in position. <laughs> Stop that. Mm. We have an exciting opportunity to share with our North American fans. Some of you probably wonder, how can I spend a couple years in a place like Macau to immerse myself in language and culture? Here's how at the University of St. Joseph's Harriet Lowe Scholarship. AKA, live in Macau while getting a free master's degree. If you are a woman from the continent of North America, just like Harriet Lowe was, you are eligible for this full tuition scholarship to get a master's degree. The University of St. Joseph is an international university in Macau that offers a range of graduate programs in a diverse learning environment. This is your chance to spend a couple years in Asia like you've always wanted while boosting your career at the same time. So check out the description below for more information or visit usj.edu.mo. Go live in Macau! So good. Mm. 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 For the subtle Cantonese treats. Have you seen those posts where people ask for a wedding hashtag? Have you seen? They ask that. There's so many of them, actually. I feel like that's a thing. Like, <clears throat> oh, my last name is this, and his last name is this. What our hashtag what, should I be? Any, yeah, any wedding hashtag solution. Is that a thing? Like, or maybe the photos you post, like, you want to tag. But, like, I don't know. <laughs> I, you know what? Uh, last, like, birthday, I mean, birthday, <laughs> wedding. Right, yeah, that, like, yeah, it was, like, it was, it was like, very detailed, like, they would have hashtag, they talked about it, like, oh, it's our oh, yeah? hashtag. And I didn't know that was a thing until, like, he told me that. I was like, why, really? Because then all the guests, like... And then I realized that, it? wait, like, it's not just an Asian thing, I guess. Like, because you're right, in Asian traits, like, they're always... And the Cantonese, mm -hmm. so, like, mm -hmm. so the traits, they always ask, like, what should, what should our hashtag name be? That's, like, shouldn't that be your decision? Like, what's your... Maybe because we're, well, I'm not like the type to like make a whole huge planning of a wedding. Because, mm. like you said, like it doesn't really matter so much. Mm -hmm. Out. Like a simple, nice fun gathering. So, what, like if you can hashtag, look for your hashtag and see? <laughs> Probably. Maybe you should keep 
like if you yourself are the couple mm-hmm. and you want to look through everyone's photo, like different perspective. Oh my god! That's like I see it a lot. I don't know. Maybe it was the, the wedding season. Yeah, I didn't know that. I'm not sure. And then their their names would be what? The hashtag Kevin Yun. Ha <laughs> ha! It was always Kevin. Oh, 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 there's a post about like why people um oh people usually say Kelvin or something instead of Kevin. Oh, Kelvin. Oh, she's looking at it. Oh, here. How come a lot of people have issues pronouncing the name Kevin and keep on saying Kelvin? Kelvin. Kelvin. Kevin. My husband is Kevin. And it frustrates me that I have to keep correcting my Hong Kong <laughs> friends and people would still remember it as Kelvin. That's true, though. Kelvin. If you will. Kevin. Kelvin. And Kelvin. I know Kelvin. so many more Kelvin than Kevin. Yeah. Kevin. <laughs> Because that's Kelvin, you know, <laughs> but Kelvin, Kelvin, I guess more, I guess roll up. Mean, when you have the L, it's easy to pronounce the V. Yeah. After Kelvin, Kelvin. 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 I think because even saying Kevin, Kelvin, it kind of like, you know, sounds like saying the L. <laughs> Guys. We are not making like fun of accents, okay? We speak Cantonese, so that's the accent when you speak it. Like, Remember someone asked if we can do a Hong Kong English? Oh my god. But like, yeah, so I don't want to force anything, but like we, when we talk, talk mm. yeah, on the, uh, that, like, better than Filipino accent for yeah. us. No. <laughs> my Chick-fil-A, I You can do the Filipino accent, but, oh my god. Like, you can be the Filipino. I mean, <laughs> Oh, what? This is very good, eh? This is very good. Oh, it feels wrong. I know it feels wrong, so because especially like we don't look like, but we can speak. He should hate people. I I really like the sauce. I really like the sauce. It's so yummy. What? So good, uh, very yummy. <laughs> like, you know, yeah, I think I can do the Cantonese English way better. Oh, so good, ah. Uh. Mm-hmm. This is so, so good. So good. Good to bow, what do you call it? Yeah, bah, Hong Kong. Get the Chick-fil-A. Oh, we saw news saying that they're going to open it in um, um, Asia or Europe. Hong Kong. But Hong Kong, I find it. I might. Dude, you guys will eat this shit up like chick, a uh, chick shack. Oh my god! Mm-hmm. And honestly, like after I got here, you know, like comparing everything, chick shack is it's the best. Oh really? In my opinion, I mean for me, cause it's like okay, my YouTube Don't channel like used to be called Fries Lover. Okay, so I really yes, but... care about the mm-hmm. fries, cause it's just and. It's the fries and Shake Shack is just, what is that? And it's not like there's good sauce that goes with it. You know? I think they do well with the burger. Humble bow. The bun is nice. Humble. One more thing about the hamburger. Like, why is it a hamburger? Like a beef hamburger. Is ham? Is it ham? First off, is a hamburger ham? No, no. <laughs> Beef burger. <laughs> but why is it a chicken sandwich? Hamburg, hamburg. Why is it a chicken sandwich and not a chicken burger? Like, but it's a chicken no, burger. If it's, chicken, it's a, if it's chicken, it's always sandwich. Yeah. Even if it's if it's beef, what about pork? Pork bun. There's no such thing as pork, like. Burger. Hamburger, ham. No, no. Hamburger is beef. Ham, I know. But why is it called ham? Ham is supposed to be pig. No, maybe it's like you know. That's why I always thought ham was a beef because like hamburger. Why is it chicken sw- sandwich when it's not like a you know when it's a brown bun? You know what I mean? Because I thought that's what makes a burger. It's the bread, bread, yeah, right? the bread. And like sandwich is like with the the square sandwich, you know. But no, it's the patty. It's apparently just turkey burger. You say burger, 
not about the bird. Turkey burger? Yeah, you don't say turkey sandwich. Or, I don't Do know, you? deli meat, deli. His turkey is like deli meat. That's not people. Like, that's a good debate. Because it's like, what do you think? I, I've been asking her. Meat, like shrimp? Shrimp burger. Mm -hmm. This is right. Shredded like shrimp. You see? I think maybe it's the shape of the patty. Like if it's like a chicken. Like just a meat chicken? With the bun bread, shape. It's right. still, But then like what if it's a patty? You know what it is? Like ground. Maybe it's grounded up and then made it into a patty. That's a burger. Because this is a whole chicken. Yeah. That's like it's a chicken. It's not grounded. <gasps> that we makes sense. Alright. Got debunked. So if I ground the chicken, then it's a burger? Chicken burger? Yeah, yeah. Burger is like the difference is the grounded part maybe. Because chicken burger is also the patty that's so grounded already. So chicken, that's the chicken burger. You can't, you can't at me at that. Okay, you can't yeah, at me at that. Or had it? Chicken burger. I've had it. They have shit. They have like so many like healthy versions of stuff here. Like, you know, like, oh, the thing with well, America, we have yeah. so many of those. Like Beyond Meat Burger, Veggie Burger, mm -hmm. it is mashed up. Because you see, like, my dad, he, he doesn't eat pork, right? Like, so because of religious reasons. And now, even the smell of pork makes him, like, kind of gag. Oh, really? Yeah, because it's like, like adobo. He can eat adobo. Yeah. But adobo no. is not pork, it's chicken. Yeah. I eat pork for adobo. Main is chicken. Adobo chicken. Oh, you would so, you do pork usually? My dad. Mm -hmm. Like, it's always, well, there is chicken for sure, but there is like the pork version where, like, with the fat. I really love Of course, the fat is what they say. Yummy. But, um, yeah, I always do chicken. My family always does chicken. Like, in terms of meat. That's, that's definitely the default. Chicken and adobo. Yeah, chicken and adobo. Um, oh, I see. I don't always get, I don't always get the different one. Like well, you said that I always get like uh, the different, you know, the not the default, <laughs> but there you go. There is one default that I maybe it's depending on the Philippine, the region in the Philippines too. Like you were talking about like seasick, the way they make seasick. Yeah. Oh my god. Gesture. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Right now. If anyone asks who got this water, it's me, okay? Because I just, I wanted a drink, but then I, I know I just will have just a few sips of soda and not even drink it, and the water goes. Half lemonade, half tea. Look at you. Let me try. Half lemon, half tea. Lemon tea. You don't want to call it lemon tea? Because it's like specific. Ha, ha, ha. Mm -hmm. Specifically half. Not a little. No, I have. No, it's still a little too late. Half Filipino that can sing, half Filipino that cannot. <laughs> I even oh, brought my karaoke. Oh. Stop! I brought my karaoke mic. <laughs> I wish I could sing. I saw that, like, TikTok with the guy, like, I suffer from. No. Oh. F what is it? F W C S. Mm. Dang, I feel so sorry. I was like, yeah, what is that? That Filipino can't sing. <laughs> that was like an Australian accent, right? Yeah. Filipino yeah. can't sing. Oh my god. Oh I was like, yes, it's me. Or, or even like A A W but A W C R. Can't breathe. Africans who can't run. Stop. <laughs> I saw that one, yeah, of Nancy. And they were like, oh my god. <laughs> that was good. It was really good. It's so funny. <laughs> and I'm just like, dude, in like parties, you know, Filipinos always be singing. Just like, and they're like, oh, I, and you want, I want to sing. 
You know, it's fun. It's fun because you don't hear yourself singing. But you know how bad you're going with that people's reaction. And it's like, especially going after a person that can sing and everybody's like, oh, but, but he's singing along. There's also this rule where like, during karaoke, when you go sing, it's always, you should be bad. Like, that's like fun when it's like bad. And then when they're good, it's like, oh, and there's right. a good one. And then like, we go like, all right, we get it. Yeah. <laughs> You remember when you go up like, all right, we get it, you can sing, okay? <laughs> and then like when you're like going, like everybody laughing, when people are laughing and stuff, it's like, all right, I get it. I get it. It's fine. Mm. I wish I could sing well, because it's like, it just looks so satisfying when people sing. You know, when, when they can sing, they look like they're like so enjoying themselves. I'm like, oh, I wish I could be that happy with my voice. <laughs> nope. Empty. Empty. Look at that. Oh! Dasani. Dasani. Oh. I saw that. Dasani. 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 Alright, so um, we're done we're, with our first mukbang. 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 Okay, and then. Uh, yeah, thank you. It's beautiful. Wow, right. Chick Fil A. Hopefully, it comes to Asia and y'all can try it. People in America, if they don't have Chick Fil A in some places, get go to it. It's so good. Not so, Sundays. On Sundays, it's closed. I was gonna say. Mm-hmm. Sorry. Okay. For some reason, I, every time I wanted to eat Chick Fil A, it's always on a Sunday. It's always on a Sunday. All right, but. It's reserved for God on Chick on for Chick Fil A. It's reserved for God on Sunday. So yeah, but you're right. Every time it comes Sunday, like I'm like, mm, I want the forbidden food, <laughs> the forbidden sandwich. All right, wonderful. That was great. All right, thanks, Grace. Bye-bye.